Wright, Denny Wright. He was known for a long time to do this. There he is right there. He brings in fellow police officers from RPD to dance in his wife's classroom at school number 15. Police community relations at its best. This was before October 4th when Wright was attacked with a knife while responding to a call on Peck Street. He lost his eyesight that day. Last night I sat down with Wright and his wife Sonia to get an update on how they're doing. Here's our exclusive interview. I've been doing um, exceptional considering the uh, circumstance that I'm, I'm currently in. It's a big learning curve to uh, all of a sudden lose uh, your total sight. But it is a doable situation and uh, I'm moving forward and learning every day. One thing from talking with you that I've taken away is I don't sense a lot of anger on your part. That would be wasted energy, I think, on my part. I have to focus my energy on, on my family, on how I'm going to function, how I'm going to learn how to be blind, and how to be more independent. I really don't have time for negativity, and so I just focus on going forward. How did you find out about this? I was in the classroom teaching, and um, my eye watch kept on going off. And when I stepped out and called the number back, I had um, an officer on the other line, and the officer said to me that Denny was hurt. And I said, well, I will meet you there. I just thought, you know, he got hurt at work. Let me go see where he's at. It wasn't until I started talking to him more when he said, I'm at your house. I'm coming to get you. That's when I realized something was not right. And it was touch and go initially, because I remember following it along pretty closely, especially when I heard the name. And at first it was, well, he might lose eyesight in one eye. And then it was both. I mean, and this must have the emotion attached to this progression. It was very difficult. It was very difficult. Emotions were at a peak, at a low. Um, it felt like I was in a just this bad dream and I just wanted to get out of it. Um, and the sadness that I saw from my children in their faces. Um, and the sadness that I saw from our friends and our coworkers. Um, it was very difficult, very, very difficult. What message do you think the community should take away from this and what we saw just recently with Officer Kayla? Uh, I think the community should know that there are plenty, plenty of officers like myself and Officer Kayla who are out there and who dedicate our lives to helping others. And, and they're there. And you might not hear about them and you might not see them. But that would be the majority of the people I work with are, uh, are exceptional people. Um, there was an exceptional group of police officers uh, civilians and medical personnel who, in fact, uh, worked together and, and saved my life. Uh, it's an amazing thing that happened. Everything that has happened since has been overwhelming to me. And the support from the community, from, uh, from the city, from the police department, from my brothers and sisters, and from strangers, uh, from uh, everybody. It's, it's unbelievable the outpour and, and the love and support that I've received. The man accused of attacking Wright is now in jail and charged with attempted aggravated murder, among other charges. We will be sure to follow that court case. Should you want to watch the full interviews with both Denny and Sonia Wright, just go to rochesterfirst.com and find this article.